it's shayla welcome to another video today is a video about me starting my first day on my new job as you can see in the title if you are new here welcome thank you so much for stopping by please consider hitting that red subscribe button so that you will get notified when i release new videos and you can go ahead and tap the bell if you are my loyal viewers and subscribers welcome back and happy new year enjoy the video Good morning, you guys. So this is me getting ready for my first day of my new job, going back to work after not having worked in 10 years um, since the first of the year. I'm running a little later than I want to. I have to get up and cook. I made boiled eggs for the kids. Um, I made grilled chicken so that I can make salads later so I can have grilled chicken salads. And then um, we have some TV dinners in the freezer um, that they can get to. I am needing to leave in like two minutes and I'm not even dressed but that is me giving myself extra time so I'm gonna grab myself go wash my face brush my teeth I took my shower last night my hair is up I just have to take this off and take my hair out the ponytail holder thank god um and then I'm gonna head to the car I made my lunch um I got my bag and I got my clothes out last night thank you grandma for teaching me that um so I should be out of here in a pretty good time um but I wanted to leave at 9.15 and it is actually um, about 9.12 now. <laughs> uh, however, I am going to be fine because I gave myself, it only takes me 20 minutes technically to get to work and most of the traffic should be died down. I'm not going to take the freeway, although I could. I'm going to take the back street and I still should have plenty of time. Um, it takes me 20 minutes, but I'm giving myself about 40 to 35 minutes lead time. So I should be good. All right. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys, I'm in the car, finally, and just a little Carmex, some razzle-dazzle on my lips and my hair. I just took it down, shook it, <laughs> put a little oil around my edges um, and in the back and through my part because it was itching, and now I'm off. It is 9.34. I'm leaving later than I want to, but I checked the GPS. It's only 17 minutes, so I should still get there in plenty of time. It takes, uh, it usually takes 20 minutes, I guess, with traffic, but it says 17 minutes, and so it's 9.34. Um, I'm actually going to take the back street um, because the freeway, the back street, we're all the same time, 17 minutes. So we're off, and I'll see you guys sometime throughout my day. Going back to work, and this is not my normal schedule. I work nights, but I'm doing orientation for two days this week, and so um, I'm having to go in the morning business hours, but I will be on a night shift after this. 12 hours all right okay so i made it and i actually have one minute to walk in and i had to park down the street but it looks like other people are parking down here and walking that way so i'm assuming there's some other people going to orientation but it's literally around the corner but it's in the downtown area uh, of the city that i'm in so there's no parking and we have to park on the street i'm here and i made it and i will catch up with you guys when i get on a break okay okay so I am on my lunch break and it's been good. I'm just sitting here. I was going to go to my car and eat, but I kind of feel like walking. Hey y'all. So, hey, how you doing? It is 4.48. I thought we were done at four o'clock today, but apparently they sent an email saying that we were in training till five today but a lot of people kept saying four so i don't know what the miscommunication was and i didn't get the email because they called me to see if i got the email and i was like i didn't get an email and she says oh it's just to tell you what to bring to work your documents you know your direct deposit form all your new hire stuff id social security driver's license auto insurance cpr card all your stuff credentials and so she just verbally told me, I never actually got the email, but she didn't tell me that we were staying till five o'clock. And I was told 10 to four from the beginning for two days. So we were gonna stay till five. I actually went to the bathroom or I would have been out sooner. And, um, but a lot of people were like, I have to go here, I have to go by the job or whatever people have to do. And so they ended up just saying, okay, y'all go ahead, come back um, early on for the second day. Um, which is a holiday now. So um, we'll be out for two days and then we'll come back to finish day two. And we're just gonna come in 30 minutes earlier to finish the part of day one. Orientation was cool. It was like 10 people there. And they said that's actually a big group. Um, and so 
it's so interesting because I don't think I've shared with you guys or told you, but I'm actually learning ASL and I have been for a while kind of on my own and then I purchased a course to learn it. And um, yeah, it's dark outside because it's like going on five o'clock. Um, and so I hadn't been practicing uh, over the last month, um, but I had started learning about two, three, maybe two months ago two or three months ago, two and a half, three months ago. Not very long, um, but I had learned a lot. But one thing about ASL, um, and I was talking to one of the interpreters in there because the company where I work for, the company where, the company that I am working for has a lot of deaf and blind clients, but also a lot of the staff are deaf um, that actually work taking care of other um, clients. And so it's a big, big pillar in the deaf community. Um, and so they have hearing, they have deaf people and deaf, um, the deaf, there's a such thing as a deaf culture. Like it's a whole thing. So anywho, um, one of the guys in the orientation was deaf. And so there was two interpreters there because when you interpret, you have to switch off. That's a whole nother thing. Um, so anyways, um, so he was there and he's, you know, working the job like me, but, um, they, he had two, there was two interpreters there for him. And so a lot of the staff, the administration, they're able to sign. And some people just know a little bit and it's cool. You don't have to know it all. It's not part of the job requirement, but if it is, it's a benefit. And so when I did my interview, I didn't even know. I just was like, yeah, I'm, I'm learning ASL. And I've seen the administrative assistant signing to, I guess it was one of the clients. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. But I did not know what I was actually stepping into, that it was a huge pillar of the deaf uh, community and so I'm so excited to be able to use this skill also to be able to practice because receptive um, learning is part of learning ASL American Sign Language um, because you have to be able to practice with someone to really retain it and you have to keep practicing it so um, I have a course that I paid for and purchased from um, a youtuber her name is ASL her YouTube name is ASL A A S L Rochelle, I'm not gonna spell Rochelle because I take forever, but um, that's her YouTube channel. And I purchased a course from her, um, Accelerated, ASL Accelerated, I think is the name of it. She has a couple different courses and I purchased two different courses from her. So anyways, I'm gonna go home and be practicing that. I'm taking my CNA test, February. And then um, now I have this new job. Of course, I'm gonna be in training over this next period because you know anytime you get a new job you got to learn the job and etc etc so i'm so excited i'm excited about the new year all the things that are going to be happening um yeah and there's other things i can't think of it right now but there's some other newness happening oh school i have school actually i got to go pick up my textbook from my mailbox um hopefully it should be there they said it was going to be delivered today by 9 p.m so hopefully it'll be there and i don't have to go home and come back out because i need that textbook because i need to review before class starts next week i need to review the first 15 chapters I actually already emailed my professor because i'm a nerd like that <laughs> and um she was like yeah i was like i took part one already for a p but it's been so long but i don't want to have to go back if i can take part two now even though i'm gonna have to take part one again because i need a higher gpa for some of these nursing program requirements um so she said I should be fine, but I need to know chapters one through 15. So I've been getting on YouTube and um, studying um, AMP one. And also I have been studying for my T's exam. T-E-A-S is a pre-entrance test that you have to take for nursing. Um, when you apply to most any nursing program, they have you take either the T's, the HESI. Um, some have you take a, it's like an NCLEX, but it's not the national nursing uh, test, but it's similar to it. Um, but the HESI and the T's are the main two and the schools that I'm applying to, most of them are asking for the T's. Um, in the South, I know like Arkansas, they ask you for the Accuplacer. I think that's what it is. So anyways, I'm studying the T's and I'm studying the math a lot in the science, the reading and the grammar, the writing, the critical thinking. I'm going to study it too, but I'm not too caught up on that because I want to take my T's test in March. So I'm taking my CNA certification licensing test, um, which I don't have to have for this job because they actually train you here, but I want it because if I want to work anywhere else or do agency or anything, I need my CNA license and um, I need it for the nursing program. Most nursing programs here um, in Washington state ask that you um, be certified through the state. And it's just a good thing to have. Um, and so I'm gonna go do my test. I did that class as you guys probably already have watched in another video at the beginning of the year, $800, $880 class. 
um, but now I have to take the actual state licensing test. Um, so I'm gonna do that February. I'm already scheduled, I've already paid for that, um, but I'm a little nerve scotted nervous and excited all at the same time because I've taken the test before I've had my license before but it's been so long um and I know the material but it's like anything you haven't been doing it and when you work in the nursing field as a CNA and the medical field as a CNA what you do at the job and what you do on the test are slightly different if you're a CNA you know exactly what I'm saying it's slightly different <laughs> So you have to get it together and do it the book way um, at the test. And um, yeah, so anyways, I have a lot of things I'm studying for and wanting to do, but I like to do that. I'm a stack on top of each other. I don't really get overwhelmed, but it is a little bit much, but that's kind of how I operate. So I have school, this A&P class that I need to try to get as close to a 4.0 as I can. Um, and I haven't taken A&P in <sighs> close to 10 years, no seven same difference um but i'm studying i'm studying a and p i'm studying for the t's i'm studying for my cna course i brought my book with me today i didn't get to really use it because we were like back to back and i just had a 30 minute lunch and then my husband called if you guys saw me get cut off earlier because my husband called while i was talking to you guys on my lunch break um and i'm actually going to go pick him up now i'm going to meet him at the bus over here by where i'm at i'm in a different city than where i actually live um and um yeah that was my day i'm going to go check and see if my textbook is there after i pick up my husband and we get back on the other side of town and then i'm gonna go home and i'm probably gonna have to prep something because my husband didn't take lunch today because i asked him and i made lunch this morning for me and the girls before i left so they would have lunch and he was like oh i'll make it in the morning he didn't make it and i knew he wasn't if i don't make his lunch he's not gonna take one so i need to go home i'm gonna take a few minutes just to regroup because it's been a busy day and i'm not a morning person um and getting back into the groove of going to a job you know especially in the daytime when i'm a night out but anywho that's what's going on i'm sorry it's so dark i'm in the car and of course it's nighttime um but i'm gonna go pick him up now i'm gonna check the mail i'm gonna go home and that will be my day and then tomorrow i don't have anything to do like i don't have to leave the house um until thursday so happy new year if you're watching this it's probably after the new year or new year's day um and happy new year i hope that you have set some goals oh i'm gonna share with you guys some of my goals which i've already just kind of ran through but i'm gonna do a goal video um goal setting goal intention intentions video um yeah, and then I think I'm going to share with you guys what I'm planning to budget for. And I say think because I haven't really mapped it all the way out. I know it in my head, but I haven't mapped it out and what makes sense and what's going to be feasible. Um, so more on that later. So I will see you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of snippet day in my life. I couldn't really show you much inside of the facility one because I don't really want people to know where I work just for privacy reasons is safety really not even privacy because i tell y'all so much but safety um and other people are in there and like i can't you know just willingly put people on camera so anywho um yeah so i'll talk to you guys later bye